Now, I've said this before on the channel, but I'll say it again. For the last couple of years, my favorite player in this Arsenal squad has by far and away always been Emil Smith-Rowe. I love Saka, I love Saliba, you name it. But my favorite player since pretty much his first game when he properly broke through when we beat Chelsea 3-1, it has been Emil Smith-Rowe. Him and Saka were our shining lights in a very dark period for Arsenal. And Smith Rowe for me, between his passion and love for the club, to his playstyle, to wearing the number 10, and his first season with that number 10, scoring 11 goals in all competitions from midfield, Smith Rowe has been my favorite player in the squad and will still always have a spot in my heart. And I will forever want him to succeed in his professional career. In recent days, however, a lot of news has surrounded Arsenal and Emil Smith Rowe. From us rejecting bids from Crystal Palace and Fulham for Smith Rowe, to reports about us being open to keeping him on this Arsenal team, to him captaining the team in a behind closed doors friendly against Leighton Orient, to being selected in the squad that will tour the US, to being the only outfield player that was an unused substitute in a 1 1 draw with Bournemouth in California, to reports that Smith Rowe is on the verge of leaving Arsenal for Fulham for a reported £35 million. And the transfer for Smith Rowe to Fulham is reportedly getting closer and closer by the second. But despite how much this hurts my heart. This is by far and away the best move that Arsenal could have made for both Emil Smith Rowe and Arsenal. And I actually like this deal a lot. But why does this deal make so much sense to me for both Arsenal and Emil Smith Rowe? And why do I think this deal benefits both parties? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So what's going on everyone? You are listening to Gunner Central here. I hope you're all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Now, first of all, let's just look at it from the Arsenal perspective. From Arsenal's point of view, a decision had to be made on Emil Smith Rowe this summer. I made a video about this maybe two or three weeks ago, but with two years left on his deal, at the age of 23 years old, having played just 671 minutes for the first team in his last two years at the club, plus us desperately trying to improve the squad to try to get over the line for a Premier League title, a decision just had to be made. Either to keep Emil Smith Rowe, but play him way more minutes than we have over the past two years, let him be a borderline starter every game, and try to extend his contract at the club this summer, which, I mean, let's be honest, that wasn't ever going to be realistic. And the second option, and much more realistic option, was to unfortunately sell Emil Smith Rowe. Sell him while he's still young and has two years left on his deal, so we still had some leverage to negotiate with other clubs. But what we could not do with Emil Smith Rowe this summer under any circumstance was to keep him this summer and see him play barely any minutes like he has done over the past two years. That would put us in a position that next summer, this time next year, where he would be 24 years old and only have one year left on his deal, and without having played significant minutes for three straight seasons, that would have made absolutely no sense and we would have been lucky to sell him for 10 million pounds if that so we made the sensible decision this summer to sell him Arteta clearly doesn't see him being ever a starter in our team in our midfield he doesn't see him a starter ahead of Declan Rice or Martin Odegaard and he doesn't see him like I see him as a potential winger option on both the right and left hand side so this was the best decision for Arsenal we had to sell him it just made no sense to keep him while we still had leverage on him while he still had a decent enough value, while he is still fairly young, it makes complete sense to sell him right now. And I know some people may not be very happy with the price of £35 million, and despite me continuously saying Arsenal are bad at selling, which is something I still stand by, this is actually really good selling business by Arsenal. Smith Rowe is 23 years old, he hasn't played consistent minutes for two years. On transfer marked, he is valued at only €22 million, Euros. 8 million euros less than in Ketia. And despite all of this, we have agreed a deal with Fulham for a package worth 35 million pounds for Emil Smith Rowe. Significantly more than he is valued on the transfer market and equaling our highest ever sale as a club of Oxlade Chamberlain, who we sold to Liverpool for 35 million pounds. He is also going to be Fulham's record signing. This is awesome business by Arsenal. This season, he would have been nothing but a bench former, and despite not playing much for the past two years, only having two years left on his deal, Arsenal still somehow managed to get a £35 million package for him. Smith Rowe's fee is £7 million away from almost completely covering the transfer fee we will be paying for Ricardo Calafiori. It is also finally, finally not another loan with an obligation to buy. Finally. Objectively, to be able to sell Emil Smith Rowe for £35 million after not playing much, after only having two years left on his deal, 
As much as it hurts as an Arsenal fan on an emotional level, this is objectively really, really good business by Arteta, Edu and Arsenal. It's just really good business. And I mean, from Emil Smith Rowe's side, this suits him perfectly. It's an awesome move for him. He still gets to remain in London and he'll join a club where he could easily become a fan favorite and one of their best players. He'll now get consistent game time in a Premier League team and could very easily thrive under a good manager like Marco Silva. And as an Arsenal fan that loves Smith Rowe as much as I do, I'm so happy that he'll be afforded plenty of game time while at Fulham and will be able to show the world the talent all of us Arsenal fans know he has. Yes, he may have some pressure being that he'll be Fulham's most expensive sign-in ever, but this is an awesome opportunity for Smith Rowe as well. Whether that is him playing as a 10 for Fulham or even out wide, he is a phenomenal goal scorer and midfielder that is also capable of playing as a playmaker. He works very hard on and off the ball and he is a really good dribbler with a good burst of pace. I'm so excited to see what he'll be able to do at Fulham under Marco Silva. So yes, this really, really hurts as an Arsenal fan. He's one of our own from our academy. Someone that with Bukayo Saka gave us so much light in such a dark period of a time for Arsenal. It really, really hurts. Like I said, he has been my favorite Arsenal player over the last couple of years. And I'll always be supporting him and rooting for him to be the best player we all know he can be. Unfortunately, this is how football works. To be able to build a Premier League winning squad, emotions have to be put out on the back burner and tough decisions have to be made. The most important thing is to make Arsenal the best squad possible. And Silent Smith Rowe really sucks, but for the price of £35 million, it is objectively a really good move by Arsenal. And this is one of the few times that Arsenal have cut our losses at the right time and maximized an asset to be able to get the best possible transfer fee for him. That will help this squad and will help Arsenal to hopefully get us over the line. I know a lot of people are saying, why don't you just keep Smith Rowe again? Like I said, you couldn't. He had two years left on his deal at the age of 23. If we kept him and Arteta played more, who said he wanted to extend his contract at Arsenal anyway? Also, if we played him more, well, then it might have made Erdegaard play less minutes. It might have made Dexter Rice play less minutes. And all I want to do is win the Premier League right now. I couldn't care who wins it for us. I couldn't care who's now starting 11. If we win the Premier League, I'll be very happy. Again, it hurts to see Smith Rowe go, but it wouldn't have made sense in any world to keep Smith Rowe. It's just too much of a risk. Let's just say we keep him, he gets injured the whole season. Well, then we're going to have to sell him for like 10 million pounds if we're lucky. Or we keep him, he struggles to get a lot of game time, he doesn't want to extend his contract. Then we're stuck in a position where he has one year left on his deal. He's one year older. He barely got any game time. Like, it wouldn't make sense. This makes complete sense to sell him now and cut our losses. Smith Rowe, I know you aren't watching, but regardless from all of us Arsenal fans, you will certainly be missed at the club and we'll all still be rooting for you at Fulham. I hope you play extremely well, not against Arsenal, but against every other Premier League team. That'd be awesome. Good luck.